we are here in the horseshoe ballroom no inside of the WSOP. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, speaking of getting the complex, Chris Moneymaker just told me nobody cares. So that's a great start. Hi, Chris. <laughs> What's up, Terrence Reed? How are you? Doing well, sir. We're just missing you here at the World Series of Poker. You don't look like you're here. You're very astute, sir. Very, very astute. Um, no, I'm not coming out to July 5th. I, I usually don't play much of the, the World Series, I'll be honest. Um, got three kids at home. They're out of school during the summer and, you know, kind of hard to say, hey, kids, I'm going to be gone for you know, two months while you're out of school. So um, that just doesn't really fly, and I wouldn't want to do it anyways. Essentially, I'm a, a stay-at-home dad during the, during the summer, and uh, me and my wife are taking care of some stuff, and yeah, everything's going good. What makes the main event uh, so special that you circle it on the calendar every single year? Uh, what makes this, this tournament stand out? Well, you're never going to find a tournament like this ever. Um, you know, the amount of people that come out and play – um, put down ten thousand dollars. You have people that try throughout the year to win cash, you know, in their home games, and um, they save up. And this is the one tournament on their bucket list they want to play. Um, there's so much value in the tournament. It's a Super Bowl of our industry. Everybody who's anybody that plays poker at all wants to play in this event. Um, you know, people will skip tons of other events just to play this one event throughout the entire year. Um, it's definitely when you look at your calendar, you get the schedule and that, you know, around July now it used to, funny, it used to be back in May. We've had it in December. It's moved around, but it's, it's pretty standard in the summer in July. Use around July, July 4th. You're going to circle the date to go out to Vegas to play the main event of the world series of poker. It's the only tournament like it of its kind. And, uh, I mean, I don't know if it'll ever be touched. That inspiration that you just encapsulated, uh, did that feeling or that um, inspiration motivate you to open up your own tour, the Moneymaker Tour? Was it something you were trying to recreate? So the Moneymaker Tour is a, is a kind of a idea I've been batting around for quite a while now. Um, I wanted to give people opportunities to play poker tournaments with good structures that um, gave them a chance to make life-changing money. So we're making a, the, the buy-ins is – Comfortable in some instances and as big as we can in some instances to give everybody a fair shot to play a really good structure. Our main event, um, you know, is got really, really slow structures. All of our events are, are really, you know, timed out. So uh, we're going to give you a lot of play. I really want to give people the opportunity to change their life and uh, do something in poker. Um, there's since COVID, there hasn't been a ton of uh, poker tours out there. You know, you have a couple choices, but I think there's definitely a lacking in some markets and I'm trying to bring the moneymaker tour to markets that maybe are underserved or uh, wanting to have more tournaments to give more people opportunities to chase this crazy dream that I got to, uh, you know, create 20 years ago. And um, just as a point, I mean, our first inaugural event, we had a guy um, who, you know, just started coming on the scene down in Tampa, Michael Rossi, um, you know, brand new player and he ended up winning the moneymaker tour main event won him over 100k uh, then he also got a main event seat and another package to go up to triton from america's card room uh so basically his life is changing as we speak and uh you know we're also during that tour we're, we're end up flying out a hundred year old man that by the name of gene um he's an amazing character love to death he's going to be playing the main event for us as well um, so, I mean, and the, you know, we're also given, we gave the second place finisher a seat to the main event. I mean, we're all about trying to, you know, create dreams for people and change people's lives. Um, trying to give people different opportunities to, um, you know, make it in poker. Well, if you have, uh, Gene Calden, who you're talking about, of course, Michael Rossi and you, all three playing the main event this year, how exciting uh, and, and sprung from that moneymaker tour, obviously. If you had to uh, make a last longer bet between the three of you, Gene. Uh, what, 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 Gene. <laughs> snap call, Gene Collins going all the way. I'm pretty sure Listen, man, I, was, first... I was down there for the, for the moneymaker tour. Gene Calden has some of my money and your money. He has a lot of people's money, I've come to find out. I mean, he's been in the game a long time. And I'll be honest, I've watched both of them play quite a bit. And I know my style. Um, I, I have a pretty good idea of uh, Michael's style. And 
if you're doing a last longer bet, there's going to be really no comparison. Jane's going to outlast us the majority of the time. Now, I will say that I, I think I have a better chance going deep overall. 